The question is that the total sum to be allocated for H for head L of the estimates be reduced by $100. Ms. Po Lee Sun. Chairman, it has been two years since the Singapore Green Plan 2030 was launched. The plan touches every aspect of our lives and requires a whole of nation effort to attain its sustainable development goals. Although it was only launched two years ago, Singapore, our clean and green city, has been laying the foundation for this movement over the decades. The key targets include development of parks and green spaces, reduction of waste, water and electricity consumption, green commutes, green energy, greener infrastructure and buildings, sustainable towns and districts, a green economy with green investments and jobs, coastal protection from sea level rise and enhanced flood resilience and meeting 30% of Singapore's nutritional needs through locally produced food by 2030. Would the Minister provide an update on the progress of the Green Plan? And what are the key challenges which lay ahead? The Green Plan requires many capabilities to be established in many public agencies. How is MSE organising its resources to balance the business-as-usual requirements versus the challenges faced in implementing the Green Plan.